management during the exam. Uh, so as you know, you got 110 questions in the closed book, uh, and you got two hours, 45 minutes. But you could, if you got a steady pace, you can do it between two to two and a half hours, and the remaining uh, 15 to 30 minutes to review any flag of question, ensuring that all questions are answered. Um, so always allow 15 to 30 minutes before you end that part of the exam, say in this case the closed book, to make sure that you have answered all the questions or if uh, you go back again to any flag of question and see that uh, uh, to the best of your knowledge you answer the question. For open book part 60 question, uh, it may take a little longer because you have to refer to the code, you have to go and find out where you can find the information, the formula, the charts, figures and tables, so it's 3.75 hours. And uh, so it depends on how fast you can do that. Uh, normally each question is like less than four minutes you have uh, to answer on average. So here you need your pace need to be 16 questions per hour, okay? Uh, so always keep a tab on the right hand top corner of the computer screen. It shows the remaining time versus number of questions you have attempted. So for closed book, you have say one and a half minutes per question, whereas for open book, you, uh, you have an average three or, uh, minutes and 45 seconds per question. That means you should answer 40 questions per hour for open book and 16 question at least as a minimum for closed book per hour. Uh, you should always be, your speech should be more than that because you want to uh, allocate some time for reviewing all the question or all the reviewing all the flag of question because before you run out of time. Um, so as we suggested and recommended, you uh, always allow 15 to 30 minutes uh, before the, your time is up for that part of the question to review all the flag of question, ensuring that to, uh, you have answered it to the best of your knowledge. Uh, so, for example, you may start from question number one, proceed. If after one hour you feel you are maintaining the pace, that is 40 questions per hour for closed book, 16 for open book, that's fine, at least. If not, then you keep, should jump in the question. For example, uh, any question which are you can answer quickly, you answer them, anything that, you know, is taking you time to think over it or to refer to a code or recommended practice during the open book, just flag them off, jump to the next question and keep on going until you finish all the questions, then come back and look at the flagged off question. It's always uh, better when you're flagging off, you also uh, mark an answer because in case still you run out of time, at least you answered all the questions because there is no negative mark. Uh, so at the end, look at the review mark question. If there is a button there, you can click on that and it shows you all the questions that you flagged off. Uh, have a look at them for the last, say five, 10 minutes, all these flagged off questions. See that uh, firstly, you answered all of them. Uh, because that will increase your chance of passing. And secondly, uh, you know, once you go back, you, you can see that, uh, did you choose the right answer uh, to the best of your knowledge? Uh, any question that you have no clue at all, at least answer them to the, still to the best of your knowledge of what you think is right, because there's no negative marking. So before clock again stops, make absolutely sure that you answer all the question. Uh, as I said, review all button. You can press or review uh, uh, flagged off question uh, or review all button. Just make sure that you answered all of them. You have not missed anything because uh, then you know you haven't used your chances. Uh, 